In this video, we will talk about how to um, set a lock, a password on this drive to stop people from messing with the parameters. Also, in the case that you cannot adjust any parameters, this is also going to show you how to get to the page or the area where you can unlock the drive to allow you to um, uh, get access. So, uh, first of all, to do that, you want to go in to, from your main display, scroll down into NON, okay? Enter on that. And you want to scroll down clockwise to go to COD, Charlie, Oscar, David. Enter. And you want to go down to COD again. Enter on that again. Right now this is off. So right now yeah, there's no passcode lock. You can go to any menu you want, no problem. We can let you see anything you want and change anything you want. But let's just go ahead and uh, set a random password. Okay, let's just make it a number. Uh, you can make it whatever you want. I think the limit is 999 or 9999 I mean. So uh, let's make it something easy that we can remember easily. So let's just make it like two okay so you press two you press enter you let go and you let this on and now we can test it actually so we can escape back out now we can kill power to it power back up and let's see here so now if you scroll down you'll notice that your configuration menu is gone and that's where you have every single menu available. The only ones that's available is reference and then monitoring. And monitoring can go to any way you want, no problem. This is where you can confirm your motor, motor current rating, you know, values, whatever. But you cannot change anything right now because the menu is, doesn't exist. So if you want to get rid of the passcode or to unlock it at least for now, you have to go back to NON, you have to scroll down to COD, dash, and by the way, anything with a dash is a menu on its own, so I have to enter on that. And then you have to go to COD. And now, as I mentioned before, it's a two right now. Well, it's on. The password is locked. It's on. Before you say off. But now you have to put a passcode. And if, again, if you don't remember your passcode, then um, you can definitely give us a call. But otherwise, you have to know the passcode to unlock the drive. So again, we made it a two before. Um, just to make it easy. But now you can press enter and it will spit you back out to COD but if I press enter again <clears throat> it lets me turn it off okay before it was on but I can turn it off and if I let go it will go back by the way but right now it's off so right now I can press enter on it and it will spit you back to COD let's press enter one more time as you can tell, when it first press entered, it set on before, but now it's off. So now there's no more passcode. We've unlocked everything. We can escape back out to your main screen. And as you can tell, now the CNF is visible and it can do any kind of programming you want. So that's how you basically set up a passcode on these drives. Um, remember that if you unlock it, but turn it on, but don't turn it off, excuse me. Let's say you put a two as a passcode and you put a two again to unlock it. If you don't put it back to off, it will still be locked the next time you power down the drive. So if you want to get rid of it completely, you have to enter on off once you put a passcode.